Right, this is a quick walk around video for a Lexus IS 250. Uh, this is the SE model, multimedia with sat nav and rear parking camera. Finished in black with contrasting light interior. Really, really good looking car. Just to show you on the front there, all the lenses completely intact. There's no cracks, condensation or otherwise in them. But front bumper itself, very, very clean. Hardly a stone chip to be seen. And bonnet itself is in really, really fine order. Again, incredibly free of stone chipping. Very, very nice indeed. I'll come down the off side of the car first of all. Show the front wing, all really good. They do look good in black, these cars. Front alloy, you can't see a mark on there. Just tiniest bit of curbing on the outside rim. And then panel work down this side, really crisp and clean. And then rear alloy, very good. Just the odd little stone chip on one of the spokes I can see there, but generally speaking, really nice. I do normally do these videos in a different location close to our premises, but they're doing some roadworks nearby and access is limited to say the least. But it really is a handsome looking car. Coming around the back of the vehicle. Again, all very, very, very clean and tidy. And to come to the near side of the car now for you. Again, really crisp. I have the engines running. It's quite cold, so you can see a bit of condensation from the exhaust, which is quite normal. But I always have the engines running in these videos for obvious reasons. Rear alloy on the side, again very good. Tiniest bit of curbing on the alloy on the on the top there, but very very little. And then just come down this side as well. It's all really nice. I think there's a one imperfection I could spotted. I can't really see it again now, unfortunately. Don't know why, but it was there, but it was minor, very minor. And then finally front wing. And this is the worst alloy of the lot. It's just on this side, just caught a curb on a couple of occasions. But overall, we're looking at a car, very handsome car, in very, very nice condition. Just coming to the boot area, again, all been kept in beautiful condition. It took minutes to give this car clean today. Uh, so nice has it been kept. It's just been a quick flash over the Hoover, and that is it, really was that, that easy. So offside rear door card, all in absolutely pristine condition just to show you in the car there. Really, really beautiful condition. These light interiors look really good on the Lexus. They always have done. It does look sort of sumptuous, classy, but what's nice about it is just how well kept this one has been. Back of the seats there, quite often beaten up by little kids' feet. Uh, completely unmarked, as is the door card on that side. And the leather work at the back here, you know, it, almost to the extent where it looks like hardly, it, it's ever been sat in in all honesty. Driver's door card, again, as with the others, in really, really lovely condition. Full set of Lexus overmats fitted to the car, as you can see. Um, driver's seat again, all in really lovely order. And come across to the passenger seat there. Again, as with all the others, just lovely really really lovely condition so sat in the car now engines running um, just show you the passenger door card as with the others just looks completely like new and it's not just clean it's just it's the lack of wear on any of the plastic surfaces just quickly show in the glove box here all the original owners manuals for the car and the sat nav system and the original locking wheel that's set there as well uh, dashboard is in beautiful, beautiful condition. It really is. As you can see there, sat nav, fully functional. Pop it into reverse. Crystal clear parking camera on there as well. As we come down here, we've got Mark Levinson stereo, so the very highest quality stereo they could fit to the Lexus. And, but all the surfaces are in glorious condition. They really, really are. Um, this particular model benefits from heated and air-conditioned seats and they work absolutely perfectly 
footwell area there for the passenger side. Again, Lexus matte, or really lovely as well. I've got to stop saying lovely, I really do. Um, just panning there, and we've got a lovely binnacle. There we go. We've got the binnacle there just shows you 63,365 miles, and no warning lights on the car, just the low fuel light, obviously. Um, paddle shift on the gear on the steering wheel here, all in perfect order. Multifunction steering wheel, ex exactly as it should be, but again, just shows you know, it's just beautifully kept. Um, and then we've got electric window switches, electric uh, wing mirrors and folding mirrors, but all working exactly as they should. So finally, just to show you under the engine bay, beautifully presented by Lexus, as you'd expect. Um, fabulously maintained, it's just gone through the workshops, had its oil changed as well, just to freshen it up. Didn't need it, wasn't scheduled, but we always do it just in case. Um, engines always sound noisier on the videos than they do when you actually stood here just the way the microphone picks them up. But it's a wonderful, wonderful engine. Incredibly tough, unbelievably reliable. Um, and uh, yeah, just a fabulous unit. What should follow now will be a road test of this very car. Right, this is a road test for a Lexus IS250. This is the SE model, but it's with the multimedia pack, so hence the big screen sat nav there. The uh, reason we do the road test is simple, we want customers to see the cars we advertise actually in operation and it is the very cars in question seeing advertised. Um, we're now selling to customers from all over the near continent and the whole of the UK and a lot of our business is now done over the phone so we want to obviously give reassurance um, to customers that when they make the effort and take time to come see us, uh, it isn't a wasted trip. So in that sense, the, the videos are critical. If there's nothing to report, I won't, clearly. But if there is something to report, I do report back. And that has, has been shown on many of my previous videos. Also worth pointing out that the road tests are done on exactly the same road test route that any prospective test drive will take. Um, for good reason. It's so that what I'm reporting here should mimic what you all feel yourself when you come and drive the car. Um, also, note noteworthy that we moved out of Bristol a few years ago where road tests for customers was quite a fraught and stressful experience now it's done on these lovely quiet country roads uh, where you can really sit enjoy your drive but also concentrate on the car you're looking to buy and not worrying about sort of huge amounts of traffic or otherwise coming down the road worst you'll see is probably a horse that's about it um, so starting with the engine of the car, it's, it's been a beautifully maintained car. Um, it's just gone through pre-delivery inspection. Uh, engine oil has been changed on the vehicle. Not that they needed it, it was absolutely crystal clear, but it was just to freshen it up. Um, but um, there was nothing to report. Just topped up the washer bottle and that was all we had to do. Um, it's been kept in very, very, very fine order. Engine starts absolutely instantaneously. There's no strange noises, whirrings or murmurs or vibrations at all. Not that you'd expect it with such a low mileage on a Lexus. Um, but just nice to see a report that the car is in really, really fine order. Engine pulls really sweetly. It's a lovely, lovely engine. Very, very refined. So much so you do have to be a little bit careful at motorway speeds because the car will, you know, you can be cruising it. Um, very high speed without even realizing it. So quiet is the engine and the car itself. Uh, but the engine, faultless. There's no warning lights on the dashboard related to the engine or any other part of the car, apart from a low fuel light at the moment, which I'll attend to when I pop some fuel into it in a second. Um, engine then goes through into the automatic gearbox, another wonderful gearbox from Lexus. Uh, they make these things very, very tough indeed. We've never experienced a problem with one. Um, very slick shifting. Uh, the whole car feels as new it's just really tight engine gearbox has got a crispness about it which you'd get with a, you know such a low mileage vehicle uh, but just exhibits absolutely nowhere at all it's absolutely fantastic it matches the engine beautifully as well um, you know it's not having to hunt up and down the gears because the engine's got enough torque and power to override that um, so it makes for really lovely effortless driving and 
as I said, it's not always the case. Quite often you find a two litre engine, which might be theoretically more economical, um, but in practice it isn't because the engines have to work much harder and also putting so much more strain on the gearbox because you know, the gears are having to hunt up and down the whole time. But this is an absolutely perfect match. Um, obviously on the later versions, you've got the um, option to pop it into sport mode or sequential mode. So you can change gear yourself up and down using the lever there if you want to. Or you've got these really nice big paddles, um, nicely engineered ones up here. Six gears, just tap it down for fifth, fourth. So if you're overtaking, you just put your foot down, change up, but it changes up when you tell it to. The problem with automatic, of course, is it might want to change up earlier, which can leave you floundering on, on an overtaking manoeuvre. Uh, but it all works beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Brakes, rock solid pedal, no pulsing, no vibrations, pulls up dead square and true um, and you know with a lot of power there as well this part of the road test goes on as quite a bumpy road um, I chose it particularly because it if there's any issues with the car or rattles it'll it'll bring those up but there's nothing at all on the car it's absolutely spot on um, also worth just pointing out that the uh, you know it is a very quiet car so you know should there be any damaged seals door seals accidentally or otherwise um, it would manifest itself straight away because it's so quiet in here but it's there's nothing absolutely fine just checking the cruise control all working absolutely beautifully as well as you'd expect Steering of the car is absolutely perfect, tracks bullet straight, there's no vibrations at all coming back through the steering of the car. Um, likewise, the suspension of the vehicle going about its business really, really well. Very, very comfortable cars. They're, you know, they're agile, but they're comfortable as well. It's got a beautiful damping on the, on the suspension of the car, so it, it doesn't float, but it doesn't feel harsh either, uh, which is a very difficult thing to achieve. Um, obviously the point of this video is to pick up on any sort of deficiencies there might be with you know any of these things the problem with a lot of cars even low mileage ones is that you know if they've been driving around city centers they can sort of be sort of clouting in and out of potholes and sharp edges you know, sleeping policemen um, and that can put a lot of strain through the suspension joints and your car won't be unsafe but you just feel loose it'll feel tired a little bit vague uh, sometimes you can hear a bit of clunking underneath where the anti-roll bars or the drop links or struts got a bit of wear in them but there's nothing in this at all it is absolutely perfect um, and that's easier to say but obviously I challenge anyone if they came to drive it to have a different opinion on the car because you know I cannot fault this um, with regard to the drive of the car I mean I I think you know, it, 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 it sits in a sector of the market where its natural competitors will be kind of 3 Series, C-Class and A4. Um, it get the reliability out of the way and build quality out of the way straight away because it is the best of all of them by a country mile. Um, there's a kind of a sort of myth and legend attached to kind of build quality. I think build quality is what how a car stands up in the real world, sort of five years, 10 years, 15 years down the line. And none of the aforementioned hold together as well as these. None of them are remotely as reliable as this, these cars either. And uh, these are much, 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 much more reliable cars over the long term than any of those vehicles. Um, the rest of it's sort of more subjective. You know, I think a, a C-Class is actually a really lovely drive. Um, it's a bit wooden, it's a bit, you know, it gets from A to B very comfortably, but that's kind of it. It's you know, that's its repertoire. Um, A4s, I, I just never, I'd never seen the attraction in them. It's front wheel drive. It's a little bit nose heavy, uh, a bit soft. It's you know, they're they're perfectly likable, but they're that's it. You know, you know, you like them, but nothing much beyond that. Um, the more sprightly of the bunch, clearly, is going to be the three series. That's more overtly sporting than any of them. Um, but the flip side to that is, of course, that anyone's owned one will know that 
unless you keep them on very good matched tires the whole time with plenty of tread they can be quite tricky when you push on um, and also the suspension is fickle you know there's lots of you know geometry alignment stories with three series particularly which i've known from bitter experience uh, to keep on top of them and to keep them handling as sweet as they do uh, the lexus i think just strikes a brilliant balance it is every bit as comfortable as a c-class or a, a, an a4 um, it's more refined than either of them but what it has is an agility which i really love it's you know it's it's got a feel for the steering um, which is afforded clearly because it's you know, rear wheel drive so the front wheels aren't being um, pulled and yanked at by the drive shafts but it's got a nice balance about it. it it flows the corners really nicely and the greatest wheel in the world I don't care what Jeremy Clarks or anyone else might say who's going to be driving like a hooligan with the, the back end of the car hanging out well if you want that the 3 Series will be a better car I'm sure on the limits I expect it will have a, a nicer handling balance no one apart from the odd lunatic in the world is going to be doing that um, most driving is done at normal speeds by normal people driving socially at socially acceptable speeds and you know with safety in mind uh, but you can push on them and they reward you but you know as I said you know, if you're going to go to that nth degree then well that's up to you I suppose um, inside the car wonderful places to sit brilliantly built there's not a squeak or a rattle from the interior not that you'd expect on a Lexus but it is in absolutely beautiful beautiful condition it's coming to us it's been given the lightest of cleans because it needed very little at all the interior is warm it's got a lovely feel to it um, you feel in charge of the car all the major controls are easily accessible everything works absolutely beautifully on it as well um, but they're just lovely lovely places to sit they really are um, on this particular version this one actually benefits as well from not only uh, heated seats but air conditioned seats on this SE model um, which wasn't always standard on the previous generation and again they all work absolutely perfectly now obviously as I said they are meant to be critical I can't find anything not that, I, that it's not that I want to but if I've missed anything on the video then please don't hesitate do give me a call and I'll be happy to look into anything for you but based on the drive I've had in the car you'll be coming to drive a wonderful example of a truly truly great car